everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria. Today we're going to be touring this five to seven bedroom villa located on the hilltops overlooking Kamala Beach with 1,874 square meters of built up area sat on 1,545 square meter plot of land. This villa includes a 20 meter swimming pool, a kid's den, at home gym, a whole maid's quarter, as well as amenities provided from a five star resort. This is listed with C property at 7.5 million US dollars. Keep on watching to get a deeper tour. Currently standing at the residential area of this resort. They are completely separate, so you get that privacy from the rest. But as you can see, guys, it is so well maintained. The landscape is gorgeous. The roads are nice and flat. Just everything has been very, very well kept. And this is the entrance into your home. We've got the parking garage right here for two cars, as well as a maid's access separate from the rest of the home, which is great if you do have an at home all the time nanny or chefs coming in and out. They have their own access without bothering you or your guests whatsoever. But I'm gonna take these wooden doors into the villa. We've got the wooden double doors. That is the entryway into the home. On my right side here is actually the access from the parking garage. So it has its own access. We've got this beautiful top level. So this home is separated by three different levels. And before we go any further, I wanna mention that we have this beautiful gong in front of the door, which is just such a nice feature. And this will translate throughout the whole home. They've used statement pieces as an, as, um, an interior design and furniture pieces just to spice up the home and less, instead of having little pieces, they have these beautiful statement pieces, keeping it nice and simple and really just inviting us into the home. Now we have this beautiful long walkway, sandstone walkway, huge space on this top floor. We've got two guest bedrooms on my right hand side as well as the master on my left. So the minute you step in here, you get smacked with the view of Kamala Beach. It is such a beautiful day today. The ocean is just glistening. We've got blue waters. Also, Kamala Beach is lovely to hang out. They've got some beach clubs, nice restaurants, a lovely place to go swim as well as surfing, which I do a lot down that way. So it, the location is beautiful. And we're gonna check out the master bedroom first because I think that is the showstopper. Come on. So the master bedroom has two different doors before you enter into its own suite. I think that is really nice. It's just a little detail making you feel very cozy and secluded. The minute you step onto the second doors going into the master bedroom, you're like in your own little world. But out here we have a beautiful stone step that takes us out onto the terrace overlooking Kamala Beach, which is so gorgeous today. I also love that they've wrapped just so many greeneries around here. It looks luscious and it feels like I'm getting into my own little paradise through these doors. Now that we've stepped into the master suite, we have the bed right here facing towards the ocean. You can literally see from one end of Kamala Beach all the way to the other. It is so gorgeous as well as the mountains wrapping around it. But this bed here behind we have this stone headboard, some silk padded wall right here. And you'll see this throughout the whole home. I love how they incorporate the silk, um, like the sage green silk. You'll see some corally color as well. It's just beautiful. Also behind this stone headboard, some lights from under, which which is giving off really nice warm light. To my right, we have the working station. So this is just a nice little, you know, working station before you get into the bed doing your last emails. But there is also an at-home office on the bottom floor, which we will get to later. At the end of the bed, we have this nice bench right here. Again, silk padded, beautiful wooden um, stands. And it's just really nice hardwood floors, beautiful ceilings up top, cove lighting, as well as the hidden um, air con vents, as well as these hanging fans. And 
it's even large enough to have its own living space right here. So they've boarded it off with this beautiful woven carpet right here, two stands, and the stands are very, very particular. And I think it just brings the elements of Thai culture in here so well. It's a beautiful greenish color, um, and it's got this, these little details on it, a glass on top with some lampshades, these two seatings that takes us out onto the terrace. On the terrace, you just have incredible views of the mountain, the ocean, some sunbeds out there to hang out during the day. And guys, this home, I think they've done so well with implementing Thai culture and having a Thai home with this hardwood floors, the dark woods, the silk, the, the interior in here, the furniture pieces. They've incorporated it very well with the Thai culture, but also being innovative enough to not make it feel so like boom, smack in the face, you get a culture shock the minute you move to Thailand. They've you know, played around with it, giving it nice, luxurious, a little bit modern feel to it. Um, and I love how they've just mixed those two cultures together. Now, through my left here, we have a hallway that will take us to two separate his and hers walk-in closet. At the end of it, a vanity space, and we're gonna walk into the ensuite. In the ensuite, we have this sliding door that separates us from the rest of the room. On my right hand side is the shower. They've used a beautiful, almost black color tiles, but it has a little tint of blue in it and it's reflective, so it looks beautiful when it hits the light. Now, in the suite, we've got double his and hers um, sinks. Beautiful how they've set it up separately so you don't get in each other's way. And in front here, a built-in bathtub that is just straight in front of the ocean. Also, the details, what I love about every single one of these homes in this project is that Every spot you are, wherever you are, you're literally taking a bath, brushing your teeth, putting your shoes on at the end of the, uh, before you head out the door, you're gonna get to see the sea view. So just like this bathtub here, it's in front of the view, but on either sides, instead of just making it like, um, a wooden wall and it's just beautiful how they've used these mirrors, just adding and emphasizing the sea view and that's what you're pretty much paying for. Now that we've seen the master bedroom, let me take you guys across the home and check out the two guest bedrooms. Come on. Now across the master bedroom, we've got two guest bedrooms on this side, as well as at the end of this hallway, um, a whole separate maid's quarter. So as I mentioned before, from the beginning of the home where the car park is, they have their own access all the way down onto the bottom floor where the kitchen and the living room is. I'm gonna show you guys one of these rooms. They're exactly alike, just on the opposite ends of each other. We made it to the guest bedroom. Now, it is pretty much the same um, with the design. Very simple, minimal, but st still standing out at the same time. Now, on the back wall here, we've got the built-in closet, this gap right here, and through the back, instead of putting artwork, they've continued with the theme of these padded silk walls, beautiful as well as the lighting in here, which just brings an ambience to it. Now, as the headboard, it actually doubles um, as a working desk, which is lovely. So you can do your emails at the end of the night. And in front, obviously the bed here, I love the touch of green in this silk pillow. It just brings life to the, to the place. And still, on the theme with silk, pretty much staying in the lines of traditional Thai homes. In front of it, instead of like the master bedroom, they had more of a space to put two couches, but they still have this little uh, seating area for you know a nice read at the end of the day. In front of it, every single guest bedroom has its own terrace. Now this is so lovely. The breeze is so nice up here. We're all the way up on the hill. Guys, today is so, so gorgeous. We've been so lucky with the weather because rainy season has started, but I mean, obviously it's not raining today. It has 
the weather has blessed us. Okay, back to the house tour. We've got a nice little outdoor seating area. You've got the sun bed right here for your guests to lounge at, at their own privacy of their room. But obviously we haven't even checked out the lower pool deck yet, which we will get to. But first, let me show you guys the ensuite. Now, in the ensuite, they also have a his and her sinks on the opposite side of each other. So even though it's a guest bedroom, you're still getting all that the rest of the home is getting like the master, as well as this built-in bathtub, the same incredible view onto Kamala Beach with windows on, on mirrors. Guys, it's very tricky. It tricks you. It kind of looks like a window, but it's actually a mirror reflecting the sea view, which is what they meant um, to do when they designed this place. And they definitely tricked me. But behind here, we've got the shower again with the these black tiles that are very reflective. I love that they've chosen that. It goes very well with the dark wooden um, floors as well as the cabinets here. A beautiful marble top that turns with the sink inside and it's just a lovely, lovely guest bedroom. Now the second guest bedroom is exactly alike. It's own terrace, own ensuite. We'll put in some inserts but for now I want to take you guys onto the second floor. That's where the fun begins. Come on. Now, just down these steps, guys, the size of this staircase is huge and it pretty much expands even bigger onto this pool deck here. I'm gonna take you guys onto the first sala. Now, this is the outdoor dining experience, a nice shaded area um, for you to have dinner with your friends and family at the end of the night. We've got this spinning wooden table right here, six seats, just enough to fit the whole villa into um, this outdoor dining experience. And it's just a lovely space. You get the view of the entire ocean of Kamala Beach, a nice little green patch right there for your kids to run around as well as they've set up a little basketball hoop because this is very much kid friendly. There's a whole kid's den on the bottom floor which I can't wait to get to. Um, but here is the 20 meter swimming pool that is infinity swimming pool looking out onto the ocean. At the end of it we also have another sala. I'm gonna walk you guys there now. Now, by the swimming pool, they've set up an arrange of bed seats right here, as well as these sun umbrellas giving you some nice shade. Um, also, the swimming pool that just feels so inviting. I could literally jump in right now. I also love the tiles that they've chosen for the swimming pool. It's a darker color, making it feel very sleek and very modern at the same time, matching the wood in this home. And yeah, at the end of the swimming pool, we have another sala, a nice seating area as well as electric shades which is perfect so if you do want sun you can literally click a button and you'll get it but it's a nice little lounging area that also takes us down onto the at-home office which we will get to but first I want to go into this pavilion here which is the living room the kitchen and dining room place we made it to the living room area. So this is a huge open space. We've got the kitchen through the back right there. They're doing some cooking right now. So what's also really special about this home is the service, guys. You're getting a five-star resort service from the amenities that could be a spa, the restaurants. You can literally have a butler. You can do room service, literally room service. They'll come to your door right away if a light bulb goes off you call in 10 minutes they'll they're here to fix it for you so it really is an all-inclusive villa just like an all-inclusive hotel now we have this dining table right here similar to what is on um, the sala outside so I like how they've kept this round table with it spinning on top as well lovely to share food when, when you're with your family especially when you're having Thai food it is quite um, enjoyable to eat with others to share little bits and pieces now a Across here, we have the family room, the sitting room. Um, right now, there's no TVs, 
but that's because it is hidden. It's actually hidden through here. So if you want to have a nice seating, you know, space, you can do it here because there's also a whole TV room through there. So you technically don't need this here because it feels very nice and cozy to just be eating with your family, chatting around, getting to know each other, just a lovely space to spend time with your family. Now also, this whole entire room is wrapped around with sliding doors, windows from all over the place, with the sea view in front, even through the back here, this natural stone wall that's getting natural sunlight from up top where we entered from the home, and it's just the little detail. And also, a cool thing is that all on the top of the ceiling here. It's window panels, but also mirrors. You can't really tell which is what. Kind of like the guest bathroom and all the other bathrooms, how they've implemented the mirrors, reflecting natural lighting, as well as the sea view from all points of the room. And it also makes this room feel so, so much bigger. Now, I'm gonna take you guys onto the TV room just through these doors. Now that we've finished up in there, before we head into the next pavilion, we've got the guest bathroom right here. That is right under the stairs next to the pool area. Also has its own shower, so you can take a quick shower before you head anywhere in there as well if you're a guest here, but you also have so many to pick from. Now through here, we have the living room. Now, we've made it into the living room. This is separate from the rest of the other living room place because it has its own TV. So this feels more like a family room. It's very cozy, lots of um, cushions everywhere. I love the touch of color that they've put in these throw pillows. A nice wide coffee table just to hang out, put all your snacks here, have a nice you know, cinema time at the end of the night with your family because this TV is huge. I love also how the TV is kind of sunken into this padded silk wall right here. It's lovely and it's just very sleek at the same time. And at the back here, they've also set up a nice working station if you need to, or maybe your kids play games on that um, computer. God, my brain is just going places. Now, what I love about the design is just, it's very simple, very clean. They don't have much like artwork because the home is the artwork in itself. But I love that they just put this vase right here. It's displayed on top of a stand. And instead of having an art artwork, they've instead put an art piece right here. And it's just very grand, very big, and it speaks for itself, just like the gong when we first walked into this um, home. Now, on this floor, there's also one other guest bedroom, and it's right next door. So let's go check that out. Now, a detail that I love about this home is that it feels very comfortable to walk everywhere. It doesn't get too hot because in every single pavilion, they have this overhang here as well as the ceiling fan, which is just nice. But now that we're walking into the second, no, this is the fourth bedroom actually. This is a twin bed, so it could be for your guests or your kids have, um, your kids are over. And yeah, this is a perfect spot. They have the grass patch right there that looks out onto the ocean. A nice seating arrangement here. Do sliding doors all over so it can be opened up and have a fresh air at all times or just close them off, have the AC on. Now on either sides of me, we've got the closets and through this door, the ensuite. Now, in this ensuite, they have its own bathtub, the shower. The bathtub also has its own sea view because why not? Um, double sinks, lovely natural lighting, and also what's so great is that literally when you're washing your face in here, you look in the mirror and it's reflecting the sea view. So every single room, literally everything you do in this home, you're gonna get a sea view because that's what you're paying for. Now that we finished up on this floor, we're gonna take the stairs down to Buddy's place. Let's go. Guys, how exciting. We've made it to Buddy's place. Now, this is basically a kid's 
Kevin. Um, right now it's a bit boyish because the owner has a son, but obviously, guys, anybody could stay here. I would stay here and I'm not a child anymore. Okay, now this is kind of separated in three different rooms. The first room, it has the kitchenette right there, its own microwave, so you don't disturb your parents when you're trying to put popcorn in the middle of the night to go watch a movie. You can do that at your own space. And they have this um, circle table right here. Mirrors, again, just reflecting natural light. And what I love about this room that I noticed, instead of having the silk padded walls, they've put um, this pin board right here as well as a chalkboard through the back because it is Buddy's place. And this large TV through the back here, the silk padded walls instead is blue here so it's, you know, matches this place honestly very, very well. Now to my left here is the lounge area. Let's check it out. Now the lounging area, we've got this foosball table that also doubles as one of those magnetic um, games. What is it called? I used to play it all the time at the arcade. So you can actually spin it four ways. It's also a pool table on this side. So that's just so creative, lovely. We've got the couch right here, the book wall with LED lights in between, which is just really nice. And also guys, the showstopper. This is, ow, <laughs> my foot got stuck. But this is the showstopper right here. They have a built-in little reading nook. This feels so cozy. I know I've said this before in other videos, but anything that kind of feels enclosed a little bit, I love. It just feels like I'm being hugged at the same time. And I love what they've chosen for the padding as well. It's like this kind of jean material. I'm pretty sure it might be jeans, um, but it's really cool. Over here, a working desk, two separate ones for the kids to do their homeworks. And down the hallway is the bedroom. Now, it's not just any bedroom, guys. This could fit like a whole kid's birthday sleepover in here. We've got bunk beds right here, queen size, a twin size on top with the stairs that take you. And what's really cool is that there is actually two more beds if we bring this down right here. How amazing. It's just incredible. This is literally any kid's dream. Also, the kids get an insane view of the ocean. I don't think I've ever wanted to stay in a place so badly. I don't care about the master bedroom, guys. I would stay here. Okay, now the ensuite is through here. We've got a walk-in closet. The bathroom is a little bit different than the other guest bedrooms. I'll put in some inserts. They've chosen this beautiful blue tiles, hanging light fixtures, a sea view. Now that you guys have seen Buddy's place, we're gonna go see where his parents stay. So we're gonna check out the um, office, the at-home office, as well as at-home gym. Let's walk across. Now, attached from the kids' den is actually this walkway that connects us into the at-home gym as well as the at-home office. First of all, it is for safety reasons, so you're always close to your kids no matter what, and also for convenience reasons, so you can always be close to your kids whenever what happens. Um, and yeah, this little room right here, it's actually not little, there's two rooms with its own ensuite, which could actually be changed into another guest bedroom. So if you do have a large family, don't you worry, there's more than enough space for you to fit your whole family into this home.
finally wrapped up this five bedroom house tour located on top of Kamala Beach. This is listed with C property at 7.5 million US dollars. It comes fully furnished so you can literally move in tomorrow. If you want any more information about this property, click the link in my description box below. And if you want to see more house tours, don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Victoria and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. On the road.